How's it going everybody? In this video, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at getting our ASA for our topology up and running. And I'm gonna do this before I do anything else in the um, rest of the setup so that before I give you an overview of the topology, which will come in the next video in the Let's Talk About Networking series. So what I first need to do is jump out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and get this ASA set up. I literally just got it up and running. So we're gonna type in enable and log in that way. So now we're in privilege mode. I'm gonna to go to global config and I'll type in nope. And then interface management zero slash zero. The IP address is gonna be 10.255.1.191 with a slash 24 mask. Type in no shut and then the name if is gonna be MGMT. And then I'm gonna log, exit out of there. I'm gonna type in the host name is gonna be ASA22. And this will be the ASA that we use for our remote access VPN setup down the road. So I actually have to upload the AnyConnect package to the ASA in order for it to work. So I'm also gonna come in here and type in route management. I'm gonna type in 10.255.10.0 slash 24 mask to 10.255.1.1 is our default gateway. And then I'm also gonna come in and say that the username is gonna be admin, the password is gonna be Cisco. And I'm gonna type in the AAA authentication for HTTP access for console as the experience, we'll use the local username and password database. Same with SSH. Now I don't have SSH set up at the moment, but that's okay. So I'm also gonna come in and I need to now ping 10.255.10.1, for example. I wanna be able to ping the default gateway, which means I should be able to ping that IP address now. And I can, which is a good sign. So because I can ping it, it means I should be able to open up our good friend, the ASDM. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in 10.255.1.191 and the username is gonna be admin, the password is gonna be Cisco. So I should get a prompt for that. Oh, you know what, I forgot one step. I have to type in um, HTTP server and enable and then HTTP server, HTTP is gonna be, I'm gonna allow traffic from 10.250, HTTP 10.25, oops, I turned off the num lock. Uh, HTTP is gonna come to 10.255.10.0 slash 24 mask from the management interface. So that should allow, there it goes. So continue and I'm able to log in that way. So now I should be able to log in, which I am. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the tools and file management. And then I'm gonna go do a file transfer. I'm gonna copy the AnyConnect image to the ASA. So I've copied the file right here. So it's the web deploy K9 package. I'm gonna click on close, close again. And then I get to come on, if I wanted to, I could connect to the the device, I actually do have it pulled up via this. Type in DIR, and the AnyConnect image has been mapped appropriately. So we know we're in good shape. So when it comes time for our, this PC to connect, there should be no problem with him connecting and then hitting the web UI and then downloading the AnyConnect image and then being able to AnyConnect VPN in to the ASA. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how that works. So with that being said, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you in this short video. It's gonna be pretty quick, pretty dirty and easy. And actually not very dirty at all, right? But um, the topology in itself is basically what I drew out in a previous video. And this time it's going to give us the ability of not only just talking about the technology, but showing the scale. So you see a lot of links and things like that. So I'm gonna be taking advantage of the connections that we have and uh, diving into those specific things as we're going along. 
and we'll get everything uh, coordinated the way that it needs to be. So as we go along, it'll pretty much be a open and shut case. There's not going to be a whole lot of any configure, a whole lot of, uh, there's going to be a lot of us discussing the technology and then dem doing some demonstrations around it. So for example, doing the advanced configs, doing the um, rapid span entry protocol, doing the uh, root, um, doing the span entry root bridge, doing the VLANs, doing the trunking, all that type of stuff, and then adding in the dynamic routing and then the VLANs and or I should say, then the NAT, the BGP peerings, all that type of stuff. So we're gonna have a bunch of different configurations that we're gonna be taking a look at, and then we're gonna add in more and more stuff as we go along. So it's gonna be a lot of fun, in my opinion. So until that time, thanks for stopping by, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.